Hello everybody, Sifty again, and today I'll be playing Don't Die, Collect Loot. The game is a roguelike action combat slash survival, I mean it's not exactly survival, a bit, a bit of bullet heaven, but mainly an RPG game. So we're gonna be building an insane character as if we're playing Diablo Prothex or something with a bunch of skills and stats. Now, we got three choices here, we can go with an adventurer, which is a classic you know, uh, adventure, I guess, health, uh, parrying, damage, blocking, healing, etc. Then we've got Beastmaster, which has to do with summons and gets a bunch of pets and also, in general, just, um, you, uh, I guess, controls the opponents, tames the opponents, so to speak. Then we have the Arcanist, which is a classic mage, which has, like, a mana system and uh, spells that are busted based on how much mana you have, etc. Et we're gonna go with the Adventurer, very easy to follow, so we're gonna, you know, get an easy class here to play. I mean, these are a bit more unique and also a bit more complex. I don't really wanna go into it. If you enjoy the game, we might do another one within our character. Now, let's do the run here. In general, the idea is, it's an RPG. We have RPG stats for playing Path Exile. Don't die, collect loot. Let's go. So, in the beginning, we're gonna just begin the game. I know the graphics are a bit mm, whatever, but the main aspect of this game comes from the meta progression um, the game is a free demo right now by the way which means you can play it if you want to my moves right now is a normal attack as it says your melee buff and ranged attack my ranged attack does look like this ta -ta -ta -ta. I'm even missed it it's this move and these are my opponents here I just got damaged like crazy let's go with the buff we're dying I'm not good at this no I'm kidding we got this we got this as long as I don't die as the game suggests we should have this I just got some gold let's just spam the right clicks by the way I'm, I'm not even using them fast enough here it's just I'm, I'm fighting some Octorox, by the way, from, uh, I guess, Zelda. There is also a potion at the number one slot. Let's also drink a potion here. I think it's a cooldown-based mechanic. I need to not really not use it. And here we are in the final fight. And we got the classic roguelike system, which is a level up one of those, I guess. So we've got greed, increased gold earned by 10%. Uh, increase the shockwave damage by multiplied by 15% bonus damage from 0 to 15 and critical mastery uh, increase critical hit damage by 20% okay this is I would say useless um, I guess more damage on this is good gold earned I would say doesn't really matter right this very moment let's go with damage on the shockwave and let's defeat the I guess mini bosses it's dangerous to go alone the classic meme from Zelda obviously as I said another one has arrived what are you looking for power wealth entertainment on second thought I don't care <laughs> the jokes the good writing you'll end up Dead, just like all the others before you. Yeah, this is the fun writing. This is okay, I guess. But perhaps you'll be entertaining for a while. I'll even do you a favor and lend you a small portion of my power just to keep you alive for that much longer. Choose carefully. So we can either go with infinite reach, increase your basic attack area by 100%. I like that. Heart of the Lion. By the Lion's Fit, your spirit bar to uh, be the Lion's be the lion which is this ability fills your spirit bar to its maximum value uh, i don't care about this either destroyer of worlds increase shockwave initial area and aftershock area by 50 percent that's this ability we're gonna go harm send area on my normal attacks oh this is huge now nice this is a huge uh, let's go uh this is us and now the character has a passive of spirit which is this thing here uh, and i think it's health region and Damage reduction. I, it goes up every time we attack. Hold these, but to attack repeatedly. Oh, I can literally attack repeatedly. That is actually correct. Just, just hold them down. There's also an auto cast, as far as I know. Uh, and we even have stats, as you see. Fire resistance, um, cold resistance, lightning, base fire damage, attack multiplier, attack speed. Just a bunch of random stats here. And that exists in all of those RPGs, as always. And we got the chest. Collect loot. Uh, I guess you get all of them, right? Yeah, you literally get all of them. So I got a sword, a ring, and something else. I don't know what the other thing is. Let's continue attacking with opponents. Uh, as you see, we are healing slowly. Uh, very classic class here. I activated my lion's thing. Doesn't really do that much. Equip loot to me quickly. And uh, we got insane things because the game is just gonna instantly boost you. So other than the copper boots to level 1, increase movement speed and adds physical resistance, we're all gonna get insane things here with a bunch of tier 1 affixes. So we get physical resistance, max life, max life, lightning resistance, fire resistance, physical resistance, equip this. Uh, damage to attackers, maximum life, maximum life, area of effect, shockwave level, maximum life, maximum life, lightning resistance, lightning resistance, area of effect, area of effect, maximum life, block chance, fire resistance, fire resistance, crit chance crit hit chance crit damage crit hit chance 65 percent wait a minute wasn't this also not 65 percent 45 percent crit hit chance and another 65 percent crit hit chance just like that my crit chance should be 100 percent yep crit chance 100 percent should have gone with 100 percent crit damage and even more physical damage and i don't know what we got a bunch of resistances other than poison and physical and um yeah i think we are ready to go and fight the most likely guaranteed loss here because i don't believe that we have a thousand two hundred ninety nine health 
without the game actually uh, destroying us in one hit. 3%, 50% damage on my on the move. Increase increase the final damage multiplier by 10%. 10% yeah, I'm most likely going to take this. 10 max life, although I have 1,300. This is even 10 life. This is more because I have multipliers now. I'm going to go here. 10% more last damage. Get ready for the final boss, most likely. The whirlwind has become huge. Everything has become huge. Let us go. Let us go and fight the... A warning, warning, the the insane boss, yeah, it's a boss, the warden, let's see how this goes, okay, we're doing insane amounts of damage, but I'm pretty sure we should be dying, that's my assumption here, I'm just waiting for the assumption to come true, we're doing some 14k damage, what are those stones, okay, oh, we're just getting hit, I blocked 67 damage, I'm gonna rotate around now, okay, shots are coming in, as long as I'm rotating around, we should be safe, that's what my assumption here is, which might be wrong. As long as I'm avoiding in a circular manner. I mean, I have health regen, so let's also activate the Lion's Pride. I'm pretty sure it's designed to kill us. I just wait for when the kill thing happens. Unless it's just that it becomes harder and harder. At some point, it's borderline impossible to dodge. Uh, right now, it feels possible, though. At least right now. Big rotations, big rotations. Oh, I'm getting pushed back. As long as I don't care about specifically hitting the boss, we should be able to do it. Our opponents are trees with... Well, what's what's actually appearing? Is that trees with mushrooms? I can't even look what's attacking us. I'm just trying to avoid right now. Whoop. Yeah, it's actually trees with mushrooms and bees or something. I'm taking 67 damage and blocking it. That's not zigzag, to be honest. I think rotating is... Whoop. That was a big hit from a tree. Uh, health region is happening. I'm still waiting for the fight to end. I'm seeing the opponents at one third of its life. Which I would say is okay. 67 damage is on the lower end. 192 is not at the lower end though. I should avoid whatever does this 192. 67 again. Let's just straight up avoid everything. A bunch of shots are about to get hit. Whoa, 384. That was a big hit. The trees are killing us. I'm at half health, if not less. Avoid, 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 avoid. Just zigzag around. Whoa, another tree. I guess there is touch. I think we're about to end our run here. This guy is about to end my whole career, as the meme says. 2,000 damage with the Lion's Pride. Whoop, I just got hit by a tree, and we're done. Most likely forceful fight here. I think I had this if I played this game 50 times per second, or if I was a ranged character, maybe. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Don't forget to spend your skill points. Let's uh, give up here, because I can revive. What is this? Select Items selected here will be sold. Uh, sell found items. There is no found item. And these here, I guess, are my inventory slots. What do these buttons do? I guess this is sell all the common, uncommon, and rare, or something like that. Uh, and then 1,000 DPS, 0 DPS, and 3,000 DPS. Yeah, of course, those numbers are completely random and whatever. Let's actually play the game. Welcome, adventure to the Nexus. Here, the echoes of history mingle with the dreams of the present. Lost souls like you congregate in blah blah blah. Unlock one of the ancient orbs, a link between the Nexus and the forgotten memories of a world. Explore the forest, collect some loot. I shall await you. The world beyond the ancient orb, merely a reflection. When you touch the orb, a projection of your mind will enter the memory, but your body will remain here. This means any experience or abilities you gain will be lost upon return. However, it is possible to augment the projection. Seek the aid of the Ars Master and the Skill Warden for the good word to you. So, we got gambling. Uh, uh, yeah, blah 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 blah. This is just buy random things. Mystery box contains unknown. This could be anything, even a unique item. Purchase and find out. I have how much money? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where is the money? Zero, I think. Or 89. 89, I think. It's most like the money you have. Skills. Hi there. So you decided foolishly, I might add, to actually continue playing the game and actually win, most likely. So, uh, now we go into the skill trees. As you see, it's a very extensive skill tree. And we have three skill trees within the skill tree. We've got the warrior, the hero, and the blade master. Every point invested into warrior gives us max health and attack damage. Damage. So that's balanced. Every point in the hero grants us health, and every blade master gives us attack damage. And then in here, in the skills themselves, exist the following things. First of all, there are uh, passives on their own. Health, the health potion has more cooldown, or you get more max life. And there are skill passives. For example, the normal attack does more damage, or the shockwave gets more area of effect, or two additional shockwaves. You know, a bunch of passives based on the skill itself. And there are also new, uh, once again, passives. All hits apply stack debuff. Uh, or this one, or this one, which is a new skill, unlocks the active ability Whirlwind. If I unlock the Whirlwind here, 
Uh, I'm not allowed to because it's a tier 2. Let's actually go to another tree. Uh, let's maybe go shoot Blade Mastroom. So this is Blade Toss. Throw your equip equipped weapon, which then spins repeatedly, dealing damage until it returns to you. If I level this up, I can now actually go over here and say, you know what? I don't want the Shockwave. I'm going to go with a Blade Toss, this one. Or for example, we could go Kinetic Blade. Summon a comp if you're equipped the weapon. And then I can say, you know what? I don't want this normal attack. I want the bl this thing. You know, you can do that. Let's actually remove these because I really want to go there. So there are some skills when it says... Uh, when it when it's a skill then you obviously just get the skill and these then power up the skill if it's a passive it's a passive this for example you cannot regen health or if your offhand is empty gain the effects of your main hand there are a bunch of things twice that's a bunch of things so uh, i already have read through all of these i know what the character has to offer so i would say i want the shield toss which says tosses the shield dealing 50 percent of your attack damage to the first enemy it connects with the shield then bounces uh, to the next closest enemy up to three times i'm gonna take that and we're gonna replace this with that and then I'm also going to Blade Master and say I'm going to get the Blade Toss. Throw your equipped weapon, which then spins repeatedly, dealing damage until it returns. We're going to, instead of a melee attack, we're going to go with the Blade Toss. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. And for the last passive here, I think I would like to go with this thing. Oh, wait a minute. This is just a passive. I just realized. Fortifying Cry. Unlocks the ability Fortifying Cry. This here says... Increase global attack damage while under the effect. This here says when used, fortify Grand Glides 5% increased block chance and 5% all resistance for 5 seconds. So that's a very defensive skill in general. Otherwise, I could also go with combat training. I also, I can auto cast these. I don't really need to um, use them by hand. Uh, so yeah, I would say let's actually just invest into the skills we already have, which I would say I want to give here. Plus one physical damage to shield toss per five total block rate, which combos with the fortifying cry, which gives us block chance. So I'm going to get this and this now becomes block chance. So when I use this, then this gets damage through the thick with C two C's shield. Uh, I want to mainly upgrade this, by the way. Plus one maximum shield toss bounces at level five on this ability is how that works and honestly i would say let's actually remove that and go for this increase the drop rate of life crystals that's what that is then we got increased block chance in general that's also nice global attack damage multiplier if you have a weapon and the shield equipped and increase all elemental resistance by eight percent if a weapon and the shield is equipped that's also really really powerful in my opinion the other choice so we either will go with one weapon if you go with this grip of ascalon if your offhand is empty gain the effects of your main hand weapon a second time uh, at 10 percent effectiveness but as you see there at the bottom per skill level 10 percent more so that means 100 percent at the end or we can just go with shielding and just get a bunch of block chance you which choose what we're gonna go with uh, we also have a potion heal 30 percent of your life instantly but has a 20 percent cooldown uh, you cannot change the skill but you may be able to upgrade it yeah of course and there's that let us go what is this oh these are the dps oh that's nice i can see the dps of the thing blade toss blade toss and shield toss shield toss yeah what's kinetic blades i haven't leveled up with kinetic blades is this kinetic blades combat training uh, i don't know it doesn't matter let's go and this is our new build now. Let's see what this looks like. Listen, I don't pretend to know much about memories or can just through the matter or whatever else I'm talking about there. Like, I don't know. You got your old equipment. Damn if I know. Can't promise you that anything I equip you with won't disappear, though. Don't get all metal on me, but I have a small gift. This weapon and shield aren't much, but it helps you keep you alive. And just like that, we begin with add three physical damage to attacks and four cold resistance and adds five maximum life and six percent lightning resistance. And we got our first stats. There is the stash. Let's go to the forest. Difficulty mild. Default difficulty for the first class. For the first class. For the first clears. Map scroll speed. Uh, what is this? Modify area. Oh, this is you pay. Increase scroll speed of the map. Increase the monster defeating items. Map monster level. You know what? I'm gonna go. Let's actually spend the 50 coins to see if this is a permanent upgrade or if this is a time one time thing. It really feels like it's a one time thing though. Uh, how much do the random things in gambling cost? These cost 200, 200 on all of them. Okay, I'm gonna gamble my money away here because why not? 50 coins uh, and see map scroll speeds. Increases monster stats and rewards. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that yet. We're super weak anyway. It even says max player level 25. Okay, there is like a cap. Let's go. The game's gonna go a smidge faster. Resistance damage calculated is reduced by your current resistance values. The higher your resistance, the stronger the effect. Additionally, higher difficulties can reduce your resistances. Even in the negatives, work to fix this as soon as possible. Like Path of Exile, as always. Why do I have 89 coins? Everything is auto-casting, by the way. Everything is auto-casting. Oh, my weapon looks like a bone, by the way. Yeah, my weapon looks like a bone. I'm not really sure if going for the bone throw was a good idea as my first thing. Uh, maybe even the shield ability is not a good idea as my first thing. Yeah, I'm gonna throw away the shield ability and we're gonna have three attacks. 
The shield bounce is really good, and I should pay attention to the tree not killing me by mistake. Trying to kill as many opponents as possible. Yeah, I think I should definitely go with three attacks for the early game, not a buff. Increase critical chance by 4%. Reduce weapon toss. Weapon toss cooldown by 5. 5% uh, 5 to, all re to fire to all resistances. My lowest resistance is fire at this specific instance. I mean, that's always good. I would say let's just go with the cooldown on the weapon toss, though. Can I have two weapons outside? What is that? Black hole just appeared. Okay, let's just stay away from everybody. I'm only doing twos, twos, twos. Do these crystals do anything? Doesn't seem like it. There's a chest over there, which is money chest. As you see, I'm running through opponents literally as if I even care. And I'm pretty sure that the opponents are going to become harder and more difficult closer to the end of the route. As long as I'm just running away and we're boomeranging my blade back. When the blade comes back, does it do opponent damage? Uh, I'm also keeping in mind that I have my healing. So I'm super okay with it. I have my regen and I also have my healing in general. Trying to get as many kills going on as possible. There are a bunch of bees shooting us. Shield toss bounces an additional time. That's really good. 12 to all resistances. That's actually really good. And uh, movement speed bonus. I would say bounces for damage with resistances. Did I previously choose the resistances? I don't think so. When did my fire resistance go up to 5? Let's go with all resistances. Although that might not be that crazy good of an idea, but doesn't matter. I didn't even read the passive of the character. I'm gonna do that next. Show this to the old man. Uh, do I need to destroy these? You know, let's actually touch up and see if I need to. Seems like not. Fortifying Cry fills your spirit bar to its maximum value. Okay. By the way, I just realized we're getting different passives based on what I have here. That's awesome. This here in itself is already awesome. Increase shield toss damage. Increase blade toss area of effect. Area of effect by 100%. Ooh, these two are the choices here. Um, I would say let's go with double damage on the shield toss. I think double damage on the shield toss. It seems to have a smidge less of a cooldown. Uh, what is this? You choose. You can change this world. Okay, my boy. Allow me to move on. You can change this world. Oh, I clicked. I had to click. Sorry. Next area, forest village. Area is full of treasure. The area has some extra bees. I'm okay with that. Accessories drop more frequently in this area. Areas infested with rats. Areas full of treasure. Areas infested with slimes. Uh, bees are ranged opponents. Let's try slimes. You know, fate is changing. <laughs> Wait a minute, it says. Okay, I already like that. Xanthus found Rock of Moritor. Zero Luther found Gold Hunter's Demise. Is this the game showcasing other players playing the game and getting things? Is that a thing? Does this game have have the feeling of MMORPG's, you know, announcement on servers? Is this a treasure? What is this? This thing has too much life to die. Yeah, I'm gonna die trying to kill this. It's literally not possible to die. Yeah, that, that's impossible to die. Uh, let's just stay away. Opponents obviously become more and more powerful. And these look like elites. Oh, I can just run through them. Nice. I do enjoy running through opponents. Uh, of course, I should not auto-cast this thing. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go with another attack next time. Shield toss bounces an additional two times. That's really good. Reduce shield toss cooldown. That's also decent. Increase blade toss area. Now we're going with two more bounces, especially because I doubled its damage previously. So uh, two more bounces is gonna be multiplier on top of the damage I added. Nice. Bees are attacking us. Let's zigzag. I found a chest. Very nice. That looks like a rainbow. Uh, can I equip things here? No. Loot filter? No. Okay, this has a loot filter as if I'm playing Path of Exile, literally. Very nice. What is this? Resist elements. What does this do? Attack up. I had to click it, and now I'm doing more damage. Block 1. And I saw something like skill point gained. Increase block chance by 12% from 10 to 22. That's nice. Increase blade toss damage multiplier. Increase move speed. We're gonna go with 22% block chance. Very nice. There is another opponent here with treasure, but it does not seem to be possible to be gained. By the way, these are the slimes. Slimes are joke enemies. So it was a nice, a correct choice for going for the slime fight. And we are here. What you have there? Uh, you know what? Let's actually just get the reward right away. You! What is you have there? Do you even realize about that? We certainly can't appreciate the value of what you have. That's a crystallized fragment of memory. An artifact of a past we don't quite understand yet. Especially dealing with these artifacts. Whenever you find something new, bring it to me. But now head back to the Nexus. Okay, off to... We got a new NPC, that's what that was. And these, by the way, skeletons do not allow me to go through. Just so you know, here, look at me. I'm just getting stuck there. I just want to showcase so it's very crystal clear as to what's happening. Uh, I do enjoy the bounce, man. The bounce is awesome. I want to make the bounce busted. We need to level up the bounce 50,000 times per second now. And let's go to the next one. Areas full of treasure, that's nice. Areas infested with sprouts. Has more shrines. Extra beetles and has more shrines, mushrooms, uh, lost woods, and this is ruins. I don't enjoy the ruins. Lost woods was nice. Full of treasure. 
That does not mean the treasure enemies. Let's go with shrines and extra beetles. I found one shrine. Let's see what that means. Maybe we're gonna find zero treasures now. <laughs> Let's see if I'm gonna find at least two shrines, I would say. What was that? What's this? Am I fighting a boss? What is this? Okay, the game just becomes harder. That's what that is. Uh, and these are the beetles. Okay, these are the mushrooms. So I gotta keep in mind, mushrooms are uh, AOE explosion units. Also, it seems like these are elites. Increased health. I just realized blocks hits. I just realized there are keywords here that the elites have. You can even see what I'm targeting. What do you speed up? Oh, it's not clicking. It's actually staying inside of this. Or is it clicking? I don't know. I clicked and I was also inside of that. I think we're dying. I think the death is nigh. Let's try to avoid maybe. Movement speed's a joke as a stat. And uh, yeah, it's not actually clicking. It's staying inside of the zone. Because I'm clicking it and it's not happening. And we died. Maybe it's killing enough opponents inside of this. It's okay. Makes sense that we died. We were very close to whatever that was. I think it was just another shrine. I have two revives. What does this cost me? Did I get sent back? Oh, I can move freely. I can move freely and decide where I want to respawn. I see. Experience up again. Please allow me to go in this. Experience up, please. Why am I not gaining this? Speed up. Do I have to touch? I don't understand, man. I'm clicking it and I'm also touching it at the same time. Whoop, I'm about to die. I have zero health right now. I just died again. Game is very designed to just allow you to die three times. I guess if you just give up, it's just so it goes faster. It sends you a bit back in time. That's what's happening. It sends you a bit back in time. I just realized I'm not even drinking the potions. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure a bunch of people are cringing with me not picking the potions up. Shield toss damage by 15%. Not that much movement speed. 15%. That's a lot. Max life up by 10. That's a joke almost. Uh, I guess we go with the damage. Hoping that's gonna help us. Does not look to be enough. Am I fighting elites? What happened? Why did the game stop? There is a... I'm gonna go into this left side rift. Into the rift we shall go. The universe bends. No do-overs. Show me a unique item quickly. Doesn't look like a unique item, my boy. Add a modifier to the shield of the sword. Let's go to the sword. Um, no do-overs. Modifier sword. Yeah, my boy, we don't have any unique item. Nothing is clickable. Yep, let's close. We're run! Is this true? Do I need to run? I want to see if it's actually true. I mean, we're going to die if I run don't run anyway. Oh, I'm very much eager to see this. Ship friend. Ha. Huh. Good thing I didn't listen to that guy. <laughs> I'm still not running though. Okay, let's actually go now. Good thing I didn't listen to that guy. Let's actually continue on. Looping around. Now I have ship friend. We're also shooting opponents. I think it's I'm supposed to touch it and then also click it. Something like that's what's happening. It seems like I'm not good at dodging. You can play the game on yourself if you want to and try to dodge better. Free demo, as I said. Free demo. Whoop, zigzag. And here we are. Let's instantly run into this guy. Interesting. This one shouldn't be here. And yet, they're standing before me. Can they be changed too? So that was intended to be about you. I see you carrying some interesting fragments of the memory on you. Same as the case individuals would refer to this as holding equipment. If that natural definition helps you identify that you have, you don't let me stop you. Regardless, especially modifying the nature of this realm and refund. And I don't do it for free, of course. However, I'll meet you back in the next... Uh, and uh, let's see if we're gonna be able to survive here. Uh, I want to actually kill everything and then... Whoa! Try to kill everything. Actually, am I safe here? Yeah, it feels like I found a safe spot. Yep, this looks very much like a safe spot to me. Easy enough. Just like that, we got all the opponents killed. Look at this. Look how long they survive. Next, next, the... Uh, yellow beetle moves quickly and resists elements. Look how much life that has. You see this? It's still not dying. I am doing damage. 2-2-2-4-4-4. Two, 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 four, four, four. I am doing damage. I just got a level. Reduce weapon toss cooldown. Shield toss bounce an additional time. Increase blade toss damage. Uh, I would say one more bounce. Because we're doing a bunch of damage with the bounces anyway. Yep. Just doing some damage. Just doing some damage. Angry Hornet with a million life. These guys do actually have a million life. It's unbelievable that these guys straight up don't die. Physical resistance. Uh, I should just tank it, man. I'm getting the kills there. If you look at the top right, 320 kills. We are getting kills. That's definitely happening. The <laughs> we achieved uh, cheese. Cheese has been achieved. Good thing I'm not running in loops, by the way, because then this would take five years. Now at least it doesn't feel like it takes five years. I mean, it definitely feels like resist physical, moves quickly, 
Can I just skip? Oh, I can skip. More shrines, extra shrines, full of treasure. Let's go full of treasure. Airship bombardment was the downside there. Okay, we got rid of those guys. Oh. Uh, that was not what I was expecting. What is this? What is happening? We are getting bombarded with... Oh, what is that? Yes. I want that yes to get... No, let me touch the yes. I touched the yes. Research scroll speed. Increase research point experience gain by 15%. Increase research scroll by 1. Increase item drop rate by 15%. Decrease all player resistances. Increase scroll speed by 1. Scroll speed is negative. I thought scroll speed is positive. I even paid for more scroll speed. Decrease all player resistance by 20%. That's gonna kill us, literally. I'm gonna go with whatever that is. Uh, we're gonna now move faster. Scroll speed is 9.5. I guess more scroll speed means more opponents appear faster. That would be the only logical explanation here. Opponents aren't even losing life at this point. Let's hope we're gonna find the treasure. A treasure is there. Oh, I'm going through. I got it. I don't care. Now might as well die. Might as well die. We're healing. Three, four. I still have three. Let's drink a potion. Haha. Uh -huh. We survived. I drank a potion. Another treasure, let's go. Oh, it's a sword, it's a sword. No, got it. Might as well die. Nice, I got the treasure in time. That was worth it. Okay, we give up this time. And these are what we got. Very nice, very nice. What is this? Horrible knight. Level 8, beast master accessory. Okay. Your bats afflicted nearby enemies with horrible knight. Tier 1. Enemies afflicted with horrible knight can 25% increase experience and have a 25% increase damage multiplier. Also tier 1. 29 max life, also tier 1. Plus 1 maximum avatar of night, also tier 1. I got an insane thing over here. Well, we're gonna go done and we're gonna solve things later. The artificer has arrived. The crafter has arrived. Unique abilities key to late game progression. I didn't read what the other one was. Late game progression, huh? Crafter, make the change, blah blah blah. Don't see a word of warning, however, manipulating this realm is inconsistent and becomes harder the more you do it. It's possible to reset this effect, but it comes at a significant cost. Don't understand yet. I'm not surprised. You'll figure it out eventually. Uh, select an item to craft. Okay, gold plus chaos. So uh, let's say I want to craft this. I just pay the gold. Add a modifier, reroll item, reroll mod values. Yeah, okay, classic rerolling mechanic. What's artificer? Means you're interested in my little proposal. Artifacts you found are different to understand, but I'll make sense of it. As you expose the artifacts of memories, I'll gain information on how to do it. One last thing, I expect the have a secret hidden within. Personally, the stable, stable nature of the Nexus the that means my ability. Find me in a memory and we might be able to work something out. And upon what? Acquired immunity. Increases poison resistance. That's just an artifact, pretty much. You just start with artifacts. That's what this is. And 10% poison resistance. Forge artifact 10 more times to reveal the bonus effect. I have it once. Can I forge it right now? I guess not. Okay, uh, let's definitely go with skills. We have six points. I would say we don't want this. Let's actually take this out and let's go back to just use an ability. Exactly. We're going to have an auto attack. These are all going to be auto casting, so it doesn't matter what is where, honestly. Uh, is there just straight damage here? Potion cooldown, three melee swipe physical attack damage, melee swipe damage effectiveness, melee swipe area of effect, max life, region per point. Okay, so my passive, the character passive, is this thing. Whenever you deal or receive damage, gain one point of spirit. Every three seconds, lose one point of spirit. Spirit caps at 20. Each point of spirit increases the damage you deal by 2% and reduces the damage you receive by 1%. So nothing to do with uh, region. I don't even know what I was thinking. Uh, I would like to either go with swipe does three flat damage, which is insane because the swipe normally... My, my other attacks were doing two and three, two damage and three damage. And this is just 10% shield toss. Toss, wait a minute. Toss a shield dealing 50% of your attack damage to the first enemy it connects with. Wait a minute. Is this my attack damage? Where's my attack damage? Uh, this is the shield toss, for example. Can I see the damage? Approximate DPS. <laughs> if I do this, that's the melee attack. Does the shield toss gain damage from that? Nope, it doesn't. Increase damage multiplier, damage effectiveness, arm percent skill damage multiplier, ability cooldown, crit chance. No, it's just this physical damage is two. And it doesn't go up by doing that. Only this skill's physical damage goes up. These skills' physical damage don't. Kinetic blades is 11. If I take these off... If I take these off, kinetic blades do actually do less. Shield toss does not. If I actually upgrade the shield toss... It gains some damage, but it's not worth it, I would say. Okay, let's keep it at level 1. Let's actually level this thing up. Because it scales like crazy in comparison to the other one. 5% melee swipe damage effectiveness. This is worse than this. This is just straight up better. Flat amount 32 damage right now seems to be completely insane. 
Completely insane. Shield toss stays. And toss boomerang blade. Maybe stays. Summon a copy of your equipped weapon, which orbits you for 8 seconds while repeatedly dealing damage to foes. Normally, only one copy of your weapon can exist. Uh, what's this thing's damage? 12. This thing's damage? 1. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a 12 damage move, I would say. Just saying. This looks better. 12 damage on the kinetic blade. 2 damage on the shield toss. Uh, what does attacks? What does attacks mean? Uh, you know what? Let's actually equip things. So let's equip things. We've got an iron sword level 8. Uh, it's literally better than the thing I have. Just, just equip it. Don't even think about it. Uh, in general, just equip a bunch of random things. Let's go with a rarity. So just equip whatever I don't have. Now let's go with uh, this. And I don't have a ring yet. I do have a ring. Okay, we equip these. And uh, let's now compare between what we got, right? So, 3 damage. First of all, 3 damage. Plus 1 to blade confidence skill is what I have. Okay, 6 physical damage to attacks. So that's actually... And 5 flat damage. I enjoy this a lot. I mean, look at the difference here. Uh, if we go to melee attack, be the line shockwave. No, if we go to melee attack, look at the difference. With 35, this brings us up to 44. And the shield toss... Kinetic Blades Shield Toss from 9. Yeah, I mean, not from 9. This From 4, it goes up to 9. So just, just damage. We're going 18 lightning damage to attacks. No, that is, that makes it worse. No, it actually makes it do 14 lightning damage. Which is better. Yeah, this is 18 lightning damage against 11 physical damage. I think 18 lightning damage to attacks is better. What well, the difference is here. 2 to Resilience against 1 to Troll Skin. And 1 to Paleo Magnetism. Okay, and 12% physical resistance, I enjoy that. 10 physical resistance, no. Uh, 50 physical resistance, I do prefer the skill thing. And here we get uh, either a bunch of movement, sp movement speed, max life, movement speed, cold and lightning, or movement speed and lightning. Okay, we're gonna go just with a bunch of stats, as simple as that. Can I quick sell here? Most likely quick sell is on stash, I would assume, or on the gamble. Yeah, what is this? Tier 1 bulk items, toggle, sale on all, of all, very rare, unique. Why is this toggle sale of all with one or fewer modifiers? Yeah, just sell all of these. Sell anything that's trash. Blade confidence. Okay, I guess... Uh, let me equip this blade confidence thing for a moment. And I want to see what this gives us. Is it visible on the map? Or is it just... Uh, okay, maybe one of these I can read. This blade confidence, combat training, heart, mantle, shockwave, expedite... Oh, this is one. Paleomagnetism. First, two additional shockwaves with each skill use. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. And, I mean... Oh, and this is the other one. Troll skin. 0.1 life regen. Oh, first two additional shockwaves. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What happens if I do... How many levels does this need? Boom, boom, boom. Boom. How many do you this need? 20 points in the warrior tree. Okay, that's not possible right now. I'm thinking if I can level this up to twice and then fire even more, even more. Obviously, firing two more additional shockwaves right now makes this a worthwhile skill. Uh, how much damage can this gain? Not that much. Yeah, 14 damage. No, still not worth it, man. Still not worth it. Yeah, because this instantly just does 35 damage. Wait a minute. Is this a different skill? I enjoy that this instantly switches to the skill I'm actually leveling. That's really nice to see. So we're gonna just level up the main skill we're using. This is not worth it. Normal attack does 35 damage. And then the shield toss, which I can just quickly check by doing boom boom. Shield toss does 4, which isn't really that much. Uh, but it also does... Wait, I didn't change the lightning weapon. With the lightning weapon, it doesn't say anymore. And kinetic blade does 21 over here. While the blade toss does only 1.8. So we're gonna just do this 21 damage with the weapon. So we're gonna go equip and we're gonna equip the 18 damage lightning weapon. And uh, I would say this also... I, I mean, I did that. Uh, let's go. Let's actually go. I'm not sure if I spend money... Let's gamble. Should I always gamble? Is that a thing? What am I supposed to do with money? I guess I can craft. But we are so early game in this game right now. We're crafting. I don't know if it makes sense. I guess I can just add a modifier on the weapon I already have. Yeah, item level 14. That's why it's so busted. Because item level 14. I see. I see. So the item levels are the most important one. Let's roll once. Fire resistance. And 800 coins. I don't really have that much. And that's it, actually. Reroll item. Definitely not. Uh, let's go and gamble. We have 800 coins. Let's take this, 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 and this. I don't know. Buy all of them. 
Let's just equip them real quick. Man, equipment takes a year. Let's uh, compare. These are level 7. 14 block chance, 18 max life. Already better. I don't need to read more. And it even has 11 block chance. And right, yeah, we we'll just take it. Losing Mastery against a bunch of stats. Let's see what Losing Mastery is. Losing Mastery. Uh, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing a 1 anywhere. And I'm not seeing a 1 anywhere here. Ah, this is it. Reduce the cooldown of Fortifying Cry. Yeah, forget that. <laughs> Straight up cares. Switch away. And this is a level 7 weapon to attack. 6 cool damage. 12% increased area attack. Resistance. Power throw. Is power throw not the boomerang blade? I think the power throw is the boomerang blade. Uh, I mean, it's still less damage. Yeah, the approximate DPS is 1. With this, it's 2. So it's literally doubled. And if we go over to our melee attack, it's approximately PS16. With other weapon, it's 14. So I do prefer the 16, obviously. And we also have the shock. No, I'm not using shockwave. The blade toss. No, I'm not using blade toss. Kinetic blades. This is approximately PS5. And with this, it's 3. So definitely go with a better weapon. Uh, I would say let's just sell everything now. Let's go sell, sell, and sell. Because I have all the rest I want equipped. Rate of confidence. Yeah, we're just selling. Wow, I got so much money out of that. Let's buy everything then. Okay, we got another one. This takes a while. This takes a while. Why I'm gaining only level 7? I guess the gambling is only based on what my level is. Because this is level 14. This is level 7. When do I have lightning damage and gold gained? Incre against action speed, poison damage and lightning damage. I mean, literally the same lightning damage. The same 1% less gold gain and then everything else is better. So we just take this. Ability cooldown 1.754386. <laughs> I mean, it's better than <laughs> not having those numbers. Uh, and what is this? It's worse. That's what that is. 15% crit hit chance is good. But and 90% physical damage and fire damage and poison damage. From 6 DPS, we go to 8 DPS. Okay. And my normal melee attack from 19 DPS, 40 DPS. Okay. 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 This is obviously better. Uh, let's just sell everything now. Another thousand. How much money do I gain? What's even happening with gambling is insane. And now I can level this thing up. 350. Boom. I got something. I think I got lightning damage to attacks. Reroll re -roll mod values. No, 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 no. We're really good. Uh, let's go forest. I should be busted. Let's make scrolling faster, I guess. Do I want that? Let's make opponents' stats and rewards go up. Yeah, let's let's go with that and let's see how it's gonna go. Block and all damage from block can be blocked based on your block's chance. Gen the block hits deal 50% of the calculated damage. You can raise the chance to block with the various equipment, such as shields. Some passive skills may help as well. Possible to improve the effect of blocking. Okay, now here we should be busted, right? Oh, instant death. Instant death. Oh, wait, 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 wait. End the run. What are these equipped weapons, man? Are you serious? Yeah, end the run. I don't care. I don't care. We spent some money in introducing the run. Advice, what do you want? Skipped it instantly. Uh, yeah, we're not using this trash. Normal attack, a shield toss, and this thing which I've never used before. And now we do the run. And I'm gonna say uh, difficulty up twice. 69 life, by the way. Community Discord, yeah, the button is clickable. I don't enjoy that the game uh, is doing a forced wait. Okay, these guys aren't dying in one hit, I would say. Actually, no, they are not dying from the 7 damage shield throw. I leveled up very fast. Increase critical damage by 20%. Your basic attacks applies a stack and debuff that reduce enemy damage by 5% per point in the skill. This can stack up to 3 times. Add 5 resistance to everything. I'm gonna go with opponents do less damage per attack I do to them. That's not even a passive that exists in the in the skill tree. So that's a passive that's unique to the run. Oh, we got the ship. Ship friend. Shield toss bonds one more time. Block chance 5% from 25 to 30. Critical damage. Uh, I would say we go with additional bonds. Although the bonds just flew into nothingness. Nice. I'm leveling up faster, by the way. Like, a lot faster. Oh, opponents are about to appear and they're gone. Yeah, scrolling speed is definitely something I would like to upgrade. You want to upgrade. Nice, you guys are gone. I'm just rushing everybody down. Can I rush it? Increase your basic attack, basic physical damage by 2. 
shield does damage 15%, basic attack, supply attack, and debuff that reduce enemy damage by 5% per point in the skill. Ah, 5% per point in the skill, up to 3 times. So this gun, and right now it's 15%, if I do one more it's 30%, and one more it's 45% of this damage done. We're gonna go with that. Can I push the camera? I cannot. Pushing the camera is not a thing. What is this? Can I please get on the airplane? No, I cannot. I I'm gonna try to not click uh, if I get the shrine to see if the shrine just gets gathered if I touch it. Come on, opponents. They're gone. Skill point. Rare item. Okay, let's go. What do you want? Uh, this is the, you know, this is the build defining thing. Fundamental elements. Add three fire, cold, and lightning damage to, all, to your basic melee attack. You can summon three additional kinetic blades. I haven't even realized what this does. Shieldless bounces to an additional three targets and will bounce considerably larger distances. I think we're going with uh, triple damage on my normal attacks. Not that it's awesome, but whatever. Wooden trail. More shrines. Um, gloves. Drop more frequent area. Drops more unique items. Firestorm. I'm going unique items and firestorm. Unique items and firestorm. Whatever that means. Just flame on the ground is what it means. And flame inside of the tree clipping in. Yep. Clipping is always what I want. Okay, I'm not going to touch the statue now. I want to see. I'm, I'm going to touch, not click. I'm not clicking yet. Okay, let's click now. Let's click if I'm next to it. Okay, so you need to go next to it and click to get it. Purple, I'm seeing a purple here. Transcendence, XP points increased by 20% from 14 to 34. I enjoy that. Shield loss damage 100%. That's legendary. And the five rolls. Yeah, we're gonna go with the legendary. I mean, the more opponents you kill faster, uh, the more XP you gain anyway. So why would I go for XP if I can get XP by killing opponents? Right? Let's fight these guys. Man, I'm literally rushing through them, and we even leveled them up twice. I have to say, the scaling is insane. From 2 damage, we're up to 3D. So, a big difference in damage. Evaded. What is this? Loot crystal. I can actually kill a loot crystal now. Here we go. And we got a rare, unique item. Let's go. Let's go. Increase kinetic blade damage by 15%. Increase movement speed by 23. Increase final damage by 10. We're gonna go final damage by 10. That seems to be on all my attacks. The weapon going around, I think, is doing 24 hits. I want to see the damage of it. Oop. I think it does. Yeah, I think it do it's doing a decent amount of damage, it feels like. Let's see it. Wait for it. Uh, duck. 28 block, though. The block damage was 28. Let's see it. Let's see it. Tuk, tuk. Yeah, 37 and 50-something. It's decent. It's decent. It's decent. Uh, it's happening in itself. I would assume that at some point I'm going to have 3, 4, or 5 of those. Find another ship friend. One additional bounce. Your basic attacks make the opponent do nothing. Uh, multiplier on my uh, kinetic blades. Right, I'm gonna go here. And I got our ship friend. Which I don't even care about. But we got him. Skill point plus. Very nice. I'm at level... Uh, where's my level? I don't even know what the level is. Something new. Hello. The wise wild experience. Are they not? Have you come to join the never ending discovery? I'm here long. And you skill much more in discover. Let's go. And discover together. He's a traitor. I'm not with him. Shrines, who cares? Shrines, who cares? Special event upgrade. I'm gonna go special event upgrade and airship bombardment. <laughs> I don't know what the special event upgrade means. Maybe a new weapon. Uh, I'm seeing us become busted. We're level 7 is what I'm seeing. But I think that's the current run level. Monster level is 10. Okay, so if the monster level is 10... And my weapon level is 14. Does that go to show that my weapon is more powerful than the weapon of the than the enemies of the area? Therefore, we should be more powerful than those. I, I would assume that would make sense, right? What is this? A price. Let's avoid me, please. Maybe that. Oh, I have to click. Okay. Increase XP gain, but all monsters do 10% more damage. I enjoy that. Increase research point experience gained. Increase scroll speed of one. Is research experience? I think research experience is meta progression next skill points research is here i'm gonna go research and speed goes faster i'm seeing research i want to see what happens when i get that research so i'm at i'm about to get it oh this is research next skill point i think xp is the permanent and research is the mid run the wording is so bad. Um, basic attack area by 35% from 12 to 47. That's really good. We're taking that. Really a lot of AoE. Let's not forget that if I hit opponents, they do no damage to us. That's the play. And these are elites. I'm gaining 47 coins. Nice. I do enjoy the quick evolution of strength we're getting. 
I'm seeing bees behind us. Let's chase him down. School speed is rushing us. Nice. I don't know why I decided to go school speed previously. Wait a minute. Research is at zero now. Wait a minute. I just got... I don't understand when happens what. This is XP. This is research. I think exp it just happened to synchronize. Yeah, I didn't see what the research actually gave us. I think... What? Now it's zero and now we got these. Max life 25. That's actually not 25, by the way. Increased shield toss damage by 15%. Critted damage by 20%. we are gonna go with not 25 max life. Okay, I th we're gonna now see what gives us what. Okay, this time I'm gonna do it correctly. One's back here. Go down, please. Bees, please come closer to us. Evaded. Is this evade attacks? Yep, that's evade attacks. The bees are literally missing us because the bees are doing a shotgun blast while I'm just, you know, avoiding that. Easy enough. I was also seeing the debuffs. It's dangerous to go on. I got it, man. Another insane buff. Increase kinetic blades damage. Using your basic melee attack cause the next shield toss throw to deal double damage. That's actually good. Shield toss bounces three times. Okay, I'm gonna say a melee attack, shield toss double damage. Mag for death. I enjoy that we get combos. Man, the game is actually showing depth very quickly. Because now I'm seeing combo talents. Shrines, shrines, and boots. Extra bees, extra sprouts, extra beetles. I don't care about shrines. Shrines are very temporary. We're going with extra boots. First, this is shifting. Another sheep friend. What triggers the sheep friend? Oh, we got... Wow. 300 coins and a bunch of loot. Okay, I'm waiting for XP. XP is about to hit max. Let's see what XP gives us. I'm ready for it. Okay, XP gives us a level. Okay, XP gives us a, just a level. Increase your basic attack area by 25%. That's good. Shield has cooldown. Shield is never gonna go uh, AOE off my attacks. I mean, uh, attacks seem to be my, more, my highest DPS move by in general. So we gotta keep that in mind. Uh, things start not dying. These are elites. I'm trying to maybe get some kills going. Yep, things stopped dying very quickly now. First of all, I have to say the triple... How many bees? How many bees? The bees! Not the bees! Let's get rid of maybe the mushroom boys. Mushroom boys again. I mean, the good thing with the bees is they're doing a shotgun. I got a skill point, which was the next skill point play. I'm just waiting for what research is. If I can see what research is, then we got the trifecta of knowing what everything does. Okay. Go down, please. Oh, it's a beetle that's chasing us down. It's increased health resist elements, beetle. Artifact level up, it said. Okay, that's uh, regardless of these three. Kinetic blades damage. That's my kinetic blades. Critted chance 4%. No. XP points earned. Let's go XP points earned. I didn't enjoy any of those anyway. Okay, these are just bees. And I think we're... Oh, but are these rats? Plague rats. Can I get poisoned? Is that a thing? Upgrade an artifact. Grant bonus experience to your current equipped artifact, 41, or select an artifact to forge, partially revealing its hidden bonuses. Yeah, we're gonna choose this. And we're gonna go here. Forge. I don't have another artifact anyway. Which the artifact I have right now is the poison resistance one. Uh, I want to get these bees, there is no reason not to. I'm waiting for the research to hit. Although I start believing research is just the artifact gets a level. That's what this feels to be. Shopkeeper event. We have more frequently in this area. Shrines. Accessory. And now we're gonna go shopkeeper. Let's see what the shopkeeper is. Infested with slimes is actually easy. What is this? Why, why darkness? Oh. And also a snowstorm. <laughs> Add enemies deal additional cold damage and enemies will chill you more easily. Uh, that was a level. And a research. No, that was a research. Okay, research seems to be a level. Increase gold earned. Shield bounces. And 5% block chance. I I guess gold earned. I guess bounces. I mean, I don't know. Once again, the more opponents you kill, the more the better it's going to be. And we got a skill point from skill points. Skill point seems to be the most important because that's pretty much my permanent level. And my permanent level makes the um, gambling give us insane stats. Whoop. I'm starting to get damaged by a lot. Uh oh, trees. Uh, the trees attack up. Okay. Does the shield toss even do anything? Get rid of him. Nice. Let's drink a potion. Potion is 20% healing, so if I'm at half health or less, I should drink them. Increase kinetic blade damage. One more bounce. Uh, base damage up by two. 
Can I the glade is completely relevant to me? Let's go bounces. Maybe base damage of my attack should also be very relevant. Resists up. Okay. Can I see my resists? Okay, I'm seeing them here. 78 poison resist. Resist is completely relevant to me. Uh, poison is completely relevant to me. You know what? The areas infected with slimes is actually really good. These are the easiest enemy between all of them. I'm waiting for the shopkeeper event, by the way. Speed up, let's go. Man, this is literally my second run, and now we're doing god run. I guess my third run, if you count the thing, if you count the... Um First one. 12 soul resistance is nice, but also AoE on my normal attacks is better, I would say. Yep, that's just more damage. That's just more damage, man. It is what it is. And that's the short. Keep a high leg money. Don't we all? Don't we all? But if no, capitalism is bad and evil. I mean, maybe. Uh, let's go. Uh, it's a mystery box, boy, that sells everything for a thousand. And I have six thousand. So we're gonna just buy. Let's buy two to see what it does. Level 20 mask. Our accessory arcanist. You know what? Just buy everything. Seems like he's buy selling godlike things. Tome of Second. You know what? We're gonna just read them at the end because I literally cannot even equip them. This is gone. Thanks. Frequently boots, accessories, shrines. We're gonna go accessories plus mushrooms. I hate bees. Let's go accessories plus mushrooms. 181 life. I mean, accessories seem to also be rarer anyway. Oh, what is this? What is the lightning? Oh, that's the, the bad thing. Boo. And also we got that thing. What's happening? It says warning tree. Please kill this. Please. I wasn't fast enough. I'm not doing enough damage. Am I fighting a boss? What's the warning? We're about to fight the first boss with, I would say, trash. Yeah, I would say we are very weak for a boss because I'm not one-shotting mobs. It really feels like the Path of Exile route. If you don't one-shot the trash mobs, your build is trash. And I'm not one-shotting the trash mobs, so my build is right now very trash. I would prefer just to lose and do one last run. 51 minute video. Uh, I'm not really sure. Should I do another run? Depends, depends. If I can bring my damage up to, I would say, 200, I'm gonna do another run. Otherwise, I would say no. Come on, give me this. Roll speed, but goes up by one, goes down by one. Magic monster spawn rate. Item drop goes up, but all monsters do more damage. Let's go quality up, but all dam all, everybody does more damage. I mean, they already do 45% less damage anyway. I'm debuffing them like crazy. It seems like I'm not even able to get a single kill here, by the way. Uh, research is very slow. XP gain is very slow. It wants 20,000 XP. The good thing is I know how much XP it wants. So you can easily know if getting XP is worth it. Rare item and unique item. Oh, that little thing we just had there going on, which was the... Um, yeah, the thing we had going on, which was this event of Shadow Biter thing, that makes it so we get a unique item. That's where we found the other unique item, I guess. Can I please kill these guys so I don't have to deal with them later? I guess. But the opponent is also spawning things. Oh, you know what? I really think I should just end the run here. Just, just YOLO myself off the cliff. Because we're not doing damage, man. This is a joke. This takes a year. I don't think this fight is worth it. Is there a cheese... Because if there is a cheese, I can just sit on the cheese. I'm okay with sitting at the cheese. It really feels like we are at the cheese. Am I gonna get hit here? It didn't hit me. Yep, I think I have achieved cheese. Which, uh, I mean, might as well win if that's the thing. Yep. Oh, no, not the cheese. Wait a minute, maybe the cheese in the corner or something. Ah, uh, but here I'm not hitting the boss. Might as well just be here, man. I think the main idea is, as long as you have crazy AoE, you can hit pretty much everything on the map. So, as long as you're avoiding what the tree does. Oh no, the cheese is actually not a thing. Cancel that. Cancel that. Okay, bees are dead. I think I just got poisoned for a moment. Yeah, I would like to not actually kill anything other than hit the main boss. Very simple fight. Did I just get damaged for one? I think I just got damaged for one. Boss is about to go at half health. Yeah, at this point we beat this fight. Do these guys give us anything if we kill them? I don't think we even gain anything out of that. Let's see, I want to see if I get XP. No, I don't gain any of the metrics. Would be nice, I just got damaged for zero. Why do I get damaged for zero? 
shouldn't they be doing at least 10 damage? I have all the debuffs in the world on this guy. 11 on the ice. 12 on the ice. Yeah, bees. I guess that's why they're not doing damage to us. Blocked, blocked. Yeah, blocked, zero, blocked, zero. Oh no, the opponents are blocking. These have resist physical and blocks hits. Ah, we got stupid bees. No, that's what's happening. I see. But regardless, what is that? What is that up there? Why is it stuck on the boss? Can the bee please go down? Carpenter. Carpenter wasp. We're gonna go back at hitting the boss. Okay, there was no reason for me to actually tank the run on purpose. Because we're busted. Oh, I wouldn't say we're busted. I think we're very resistant to everything. That's the thing we actually are. How much damage does a tree do? I wanted to get hit by an apple. Because these guys are doing one. But the apple seems to be doing more. The apple did nothing. That's what it does. Wait, wait. I'm going in the middle. Was that six damage? Maybe. I think we won very easily. 15 stacks. I think it's gonna go away. Yep, they're gone. What is this debuff, by the way? And we beat the boss. Kinetic Blade's orbit speed by 10. Max life. Movement speed. Let's go quick movement speed. Why not? We've got a bunch of things. A rare item. Another rare item. Yeah, we're gonna just... I think we're gonna just do this run. Exit. Why would I exit? I told you all things have a price. You fool! Do you understand what you've done? Exploring this realm is one thing, but now you've started to do damage. Actual considerable lasting damage. It's entangled land will twist and churn as a result of your ill-considered disruption. You'll pay for that. Okay, a curse is pretty much. I increase the level of all monsters by one. That's actually good. That means better rewards. Scroll speeds faster. Or monster damage. We're gonna go monster level. You do realize there's no end to this, right? Why would somebody exit, by the way? Well, too late, I can't exit more. Shrines, shrines, and... Our body armors, might as well. Wait, it's shifting. Yeah, exit does not exist. <laughs> Marking. <laughs> exit does not exist. And this is airship bombardment. Hey, these guys are literally not dying. No, they are dying. No, 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 they are dying. So that means we get more rewards out of them. If I can get a single item out of this, then we're good. Because a single item means it's gonna be like a tier 50,000 item. Here we go, boom. Money. No, that was so unlucky. Unless it was rings, and I didn't realize. I think I'm stuck. Whoa. We lose so much life here when getting hit. Now, the good thing is I am debuffing the opponents to do 45 less damage before I touch them. That's, uh, what was that? An epic coin. Shield toss 5 seconds. 2 bounces. Kinetic blade orb speed. Well, that's awesome. We're gonna go 2 more bounces, though. I mean, we have them doing double damage and then 100% more, too. So they are doing quadruple damage. Very nice. Whoop, avoid. Whoop, no, no, no. Don't zigzag like that. One sort of chasing us down. I have three life. I'm about to die. One life. Still about to die. Ah, got me. But I have two more revives anyway. Oh, there is a chest here, which I never saw. Revive. Yep, touch the chest. Got it. 3,000 coins. Very nice. Okay, look out level. Kinetic blades orbit speed 20%, that's nice. Evade chance 5% from 0 to 5, no. 10% gold, no. Let's go 10% faster kinetic speed flippity floppity in loops. Flippity floppity in loops. I just drank the potion while I was full health. For some reason, I'm forgetting the potion completely. This is fun. True, true. Two rare words never said. Uh, actually, let's talk with that guy before we lose. 5% block chance is nice. Kinetic blade damage. I'm gonna go for percent percent And let's go and talk to this guy. Okay, what is this? Gems. So, Astral Incursion are more likely to appear. Okay. Make it interesting. Increase the odds of encountering all events, including treasure, shrines, and more in this region. That's nice. Cursed shrines have a chance to convert into regular shrines. I would say, tear in reality, Astral Incursions. That's what we're gonna go with. And that's what we're going with. Loop around the opponents that are easily beaten. Very nice. Got them, got them, got them. Give me my rewards, please. Give me my XP. Uh, is the XP exponential from 28? It goes up to 3D. I guess it's 2 XP per thing. And we got that. Ultra spin, 2 more splashes. 4 more base damage. And more shield. I'm gonna go 4 more base damage. 
Because this multiplies with a bunch of things. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's true. I might be wrong. Maybe two more bounces is the play. Blo I mean, I'm not doing the damage it says. I'm doing 70-something. Also, I'm looping left si right-sided so that the blade thing hits more often. These guys are evading attacks and... I mean, they're elites, so we're trying to get the elites. Is there any reason for me to actually even try to evade? No. I think we're good. They're healing us all the time on death anyway. Nice. This is poison attacks. Who cares? I'm really good at resisting poison. Can I loop this side? No, I, this side is better. So the so the weapon that flips around actually hits them more often. Okay, the bees are gone. Plus one skill point. You see? Killing elites, man. Killing elites. I think I'm getting poisoned is what's happening. Evade the tax, evade the tax. Yeah, please give me a thing that says more slimes. More slimes would be the best. And we got him. Nice. Shrines with rats. Uh, Explorer with firestorm. Shopkeeper with airship bombardment. We're gonna go with Explorer with firestorm. Uh, firestorm is a bad event, of course, but Explorer is good. Russell Beal, what is this? This is... This is a thing that's gonna give us a unique uh, item if I survive this area. That's what that is. Burning. I'm burning. Okay. And we died. I guess we're fragmented. We didn't die. <laughs> the boomerang still goes on. Can I wait and just... I wanted to see if the boomerang just goes and loops forever. <laughs> Imagine the boomerang just goes and loops forever and at some point the opponent just dies. <laughs> For free. Okay, these guys are no longer dying. I think the incursions are those things. Oh, give me a weapon. Nice. Come on, give me the weapon. Got it. And now I might die. I'm actually dead. I'm dying from poison. Yep. I think something hit us, but at the same time, I also think I died from fire. Give up. Ooh, look how many things we got. Very nice. Uh, is this sell? I'm not selling here. Forget that. This is risky to me. Let's go. The explorer deems you interesting enough. For now, he will help you leave your pro leverage your process researching these mysterious memories. Maybe that's research. Your meddling has begun to damage the fabric of reality. Horrors from beyond the veil are starting to arrive. That's nice. New challenge approaches, better items, tougher monsters, and more surprising awaits on spicy difficulty. Yeah, because we were on cheese difficulty. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. What does explorer do? Your home is not very well. I visit remains the same. The wood shouldn't rock that way. What a boring place. I'd much rather be back in the shifting world exploring and fighting new beasts. Let's focus on that instead. Okay, share your experiences with me and together we'll forge a new understanding. Yeah, we have nine points in the forest and there are regions. Okay, here we go. Increase monster pack size. Increase magic monster pack chance. We're monsters up here. Increase XP earned in the forest. Increase research earned in the forest. Increase skill point experience earned in the forest. Increase gold obtained in the forest. Trust is earned. Increase the odd of finding uh, over other NPCs by 10%. This guy we don't have found ever, that's why. Chance to find the crafter. Chance to find the fritificer or the explorer or the gambler. And then increase item quality of the gamble. Increase item level of gamble. Okay, obviously gamble is the play. Events. Increase odd of a shrine event in the forest. Shrine buffs last longer. Shrine buff effectiveness is more. Using a shrine grants an additional random buff, so that's a double shrine pretty much. Shrines are guaranteed by one additional monster per point spent in the skill. Are guarded by one additional monster. How, how does that help? I guess I guess in the shrines you're supposed to first kill all the monsters inside. Yeah, that's why I'm standing here. So I understand that you want to kill monsters inside the shrine and then take the shrine. Monsters guarding shrines have an additional 10% chance to be magic per point spent. Monsters guarding shrines have a 10% chance to get rare. Okay, the idea is you farm shrines, actually. Increase odds of a treasure chest ev uh, event. Increase odds of a loot crystal event. Loot crystals in the forest drop more items in any loot event in the forest. And then events to increase odds of an astral incursion in the forest. Increase the loot rewards from bosses by 10%. Reduce the number of events required to encounter a boss. Okay, God Hunter. Increase the odds of weather occurring by 10%. Why would you want that? I guess it gives you more. I guess weather gives you more. Increase the odds of weather instead of being an airship bombardment by 20% per point. Invest in the skill. Airship attacks have a 10% chance to drop a reward chest per point. That's cool. Airship attacks that instead drop robots now. Drop one additional robot so you kill more things. Airship robots have 1% chance to have a special reward per point invested. Nice. 
and this has increased the odds of weather instead of being an airship bombardment by 20% increase the odds of weather instead being an airship bombardment okay i mean the wording is wrong but what i understand is you get airship bombardments instead of weather and you can make this up to 200 percent okay I, I see i see i see i see so i would say this is more right increase monster pack size so you fight more two percent chance and more rares and even more rares chance of especially reward per point spent yeah i see what's going on so obviously you want to invest mainly in this the research because research is these skill points so this loops into itself we skill point xp earned per kill in the forest by three per point in the skill wait wait increase experience earned per kill in the forest by three percent per point in skill increase skill points experience earned per skill increase gold obtained forest per point uh obviously i would say i just invest everything into research gained yeah, experience earned, skill experience earned, increase skill point experience earned, increase experience earned. Yeah, skill point is the permanent progression. Yeah, okay, so these are the plays, actually. These are these these are more opponents, and you are in the run more powerful. These are more loot. So in general, this is more loot, uh, so to speak. This is more progression, and because this is all more, more enemies and more enemies, this is also more loot and, and more progression, if you think about it, because the rarer things give you more XP and more stuff. And these are literally just make the run better with more fights and more... Uh, this is awesome. This is awesome, 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 awesome. Little playability is so much through the roof here. 15 skill points. Just invest everything into the normal attack, I would say. Or we'll just go boomerang blades. Poison damage on the blades three cooldown on the blades no i do enjoy the bounce of their shield physical damage to shield toss per player block rate plus one can i see the shield where the shield toss eight damage this goes nine 13 wow so two additional shields at 15 points uh okay Okay, 30 damage on the shield toss increase the drop rate of life crystals whatever maximum shield toss bounces and shield toss cooldown. Okay. What is this? While equipped, increase movement speed by... While equipped. What? Okay. By 3% and action speed by 2%. When used as an ability, this effect is doubled. Oh, this is a this is an ability. Okay. While equipped, increase all elemental resistance by 3. When used as an ability, this effect is doubled. Whoa. This is attack speed and movement speed. And this is all elemental resistances. I see. I see. Okay. Per skill level, increase block chance. Is that just free? Yeah, this is just free. This is literally free shielding. And this combos with that. And what is this? 15% global attack damage multiplier if you have a web. A shield equipped. Increase all elemental resistance by 8 if a weapon and a shield are equipped. Okay. I'm seeing how this goes. More bounces, less cooldown. I think I definitely want to go into this path. Ooh, two additional throws. Nice. What is this? If there are no other build targets to bounce to, the shield will spend the bounce hitting the current target again. Ooh. This is three damage. This is a lot more. Yeah, you can definitely min-max this. Especially if I take these out. Yeah, because this now does 49 anyway. Man. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, not actually calculated correctly. And does the shield still do insane amount? Yeah, there's still 52. Wait, 52, if I have it like that, right? 52. But if I have it like this, and this does, 56. Okay, I mean, at the end of the day, still, it's better to just straight up be, okay, 56. How about 54 and 57? It's just better. And then with this goes even faster, and these also combo, because this gives us shielding, and this says more damage based on shielding. 10% shield toss damage multiplied by 10% of total play block rate. So the more I invest into it, this better. And if I take this out and this in, it's 98. If I take this out and this in, 100. 100. 100. 97. Take this out. Boom. What is this? Global attack damage multiplier if you have a weapon and shield equipped. And with this, it's 107. Okay. And if I put another one, 111. 110 again. So we're going to go back to 111. That's the min-max version of that. I enjoy this game so much. 100, no. Man, this game is good. If not here, then maybe here, 115. If not here, then here, 117. If not here, then here, 127. If not here, then here. 
135. 137 was more actually. No, 127, 135. I can even see the DPS 52. Yeah, 52, 54. I cannot go lower because these require level 5. 54, 52 again, bring it back. 54, 50 again, bring it back. 54, 52 again, bring it back. I think this is the min max. Man, I enjoy the min max aspect of this game. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I love it. I love it. And honestly, I would say forget this existing kinetic blades. And let's go with this. While equipped, increase movement speed and action speed. Action speed is attack speed. And let's say that this here is that thing. So I'm getting attack speed. And also once in a while, I'm getting even more attack speed. And what does it then do? Increase evasion by five while divine expedition is equipped. Equipped. Increase maximum elemental resistance by one. Maximum elemental resistance. This is busted. This is 3% of all elemental resistance. Man, I want to play this game again. Do you want to see this game again? If you do, definitely comment down below. And if this gets, I would say... 2,000 likes, I'm definitely playing this. If it gets 20,000 views and 10,000 and just 1,000 likes, I think that's also a good chance to play this again. I want to see where this is gonna go. And uh, just for the end of it, let's also just see our equipment. First of all, let's sell all the one of your modifiers. I don't even care about one of your modifiers. Uh, is there a reorganize button? There is no reorganize button. Uh, actually, there is. Just slot, whatever. Uh, you know what? One and two modifiers is this a yolo move i really feel like this is a yolo move yolo boom uh, let's reorganize and now let's equip so level 20 weapon i'm gonna just go on the blade toss actually no we're gonna go on shield toss 53 dps boom 50 dps so it's worse boom 19 dps one poison to attack yeah that's trash uh, i think 53 dps is a play still Critical hit chance, fire damage to attacks, increased lightning damage. Yeah, because the other thing has insane things going on for it. Uh, although fire damage, cold attacks, poison attacks. You know what I can always do? We can go crafter and be like, okay, this mega weapon. How much? 700 for crafting. Do it. Boom. I got 9% increased physical damage. I think that in itself already makes it bust. Why can I not press this again? Chaos 1. Can I not press this again? Oh, I can. It failed. What's Where's my money? Uh, 18,000, okay. It, plus one power throw skill. Power throw is the thing I'm using, actually. Nope, that's shield toss. There's power throw. Extra extra wood. I mean, power throw. Power throw. Ooh. None of these, none of these, none of these. Maybe it's somewhere here. One. Troll skin, no. 2.5. You know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, maybe that's no. Mm, am I not seeing it? Is it this? This golfer. You know what? It doesn't matter to me right now what power throw is. Uh, really. Uh, is this actually better though? Now. So from shield toss. Uh, 138 DPS. 126. Yeah, but it's it's actually DPS wise it's 53. It's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. Increased poison damage. Power throw skill. I guess we're going to go with a new weapon. I don't know because level 20. Let's just see what we can equip. Uh, maximum health, maximum life, percentage based, area of effect is another one, fire resistance, area of effect is this one too, seven, physical, let's take that, adds physical resistance, and lightning resistance, no that's trashy, plus one explosive end skill, and full skin, max life, cold resistance, physical resistance, and area of effect, and six physical resistance percentage based, it's almost the same but with more resistances, so we're taking this, Physical damage to attacks, 5. Instantly better than the one we have. Don't even need to read that. Let's see what this is, though. And 3 attack instead of 5. 7 crit chance instead of... Instead of no crit chance, actually. Max life. And I, I'm gonna go with this. Just more resistances overall. Uh, movement speed, 5 instead of 3. Increase max life. Movement speed, more. Cold and res cold. No, the thing I have equipped is better. I think. Yeah, we get 9 and 4 here. And we get 5 and 5 on the old one. And we get 3 plus 5 movement speed on the old one. This is 5 plus 7. So we just gain 5% more max life from the old one. But this is more resistances. I guess this... I mean, it's almost the same thing. It really doesn't matter. Uh, forgotten Boots of Wisdom. This is 9 movement speed. More movement speed. Increase research gain by 35%. Increase all elemental resistance by 16%. Increase XP gain by 15%. Just take this. Just take the most busted thing you ever read. 
This is Beastmaster exclusive, Arcanist exclusive, Tome of the Cycle, increase action speed by 12%, insane, although I had already a 14%, adds 2 maximum life, what does 2 maximum life mean, that's a joke, um, 17 max life, and increase all elemental resistances by 40, 40%, and poison by minus 8, you lose poison resistance. I mean, obviously we take that, right? Yeah, th this this looks like better. Look at my resistances. Boom. I have to just infinite. Poison is lower, but we just get a bunch of other things. Less attacks with, of course, but more max life. And more and whatever. Rings. Yep, Arcanist, Arcanist. Level 20, increase item quantity, crit hit damage, gold gained. Now we're gonna go with research speed. Uh, Dusty Chunker, 27 to all resistances max life increase xp gain and increase fire damage not really four percent xp gain max life increase goal gain and research gain and the other choice is action speed max life and 40 percent to all elemental resistance i mean come on man 40 percent to all elemental resistance sounds so insane and obviously this gives us xp and max life and gold and increased research i mean ah uh, everything is good and the shield, one last shield, the, instead of 14 block, we go 10 block, which is going to make us lose damage. But it gets 3 levels to heroic defense skill, and 14 poison resistance, 11 cold resistance, 15 max life. Instead of 11 more block chance, and physical resistance and poison resistance. I mean, yeah, no, we're not going to go with that. What's heroic defense, by the way? Uh, I think heroic defense, sword and shield, heroic defense, ooh, heroic defense is 4% block per level. So if I take this, where's my block chance? Can I even see where my block chance is? This goes down in damage. But my block chance should go up. Fortifying Cry, Divine, Attack, Spells, Misk. So block chance is 45. With this it is 42. Because it invests into the skill. But... It's an average worse. Yeah, and the fact that it actually gives us less... On the shield toss... Yeah, because this is 126, this is 119, so 126 obviously is the play. And these are all for throwaway, so we're gonna go gamble, sell literally everything. Yeah, but literally sell everything. That was a mistake. Uh, just boom, 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 and just sell. And then you just buy all of these. And that's pretty much how the game plays in general. And you quickly go, uh, first of all, you instantly sell anything that you don't want with one or two affixes. Don't even look into them. And then you're like, six physical and more poison, just flippity floppity, it's worse. Is this better? Flippity floppity, it's worse. Yeah, physical resistance, block chance, max life, it's just worse. Physical resistance, max life, this also seems like it's worse. 7 resistance, max life, X X X X XP gain though. XP gain though, area of effect is better in my opinion. XP earned, increase fire damage, increase research speed, increase physical attack damage. Oh yeah, yeah, we we'll go with the damage up and XP gain up at the same time. And research. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. And also here we can see approximate DPS. So from 77 to 73. Yeah, and these are all sold instantly. Then we go dun dun dun. And then the thing I'm not really doing this whole time. By the way, we're about to get for. Yep. Yeah, the thing I'm not doing this whole time is you go to the crafter. What does the artificer do? Right now it does nothing. That's what he does. Um, we can just straight up go to the crafter and just upgrade everything. Like go here. Boom. Boom. Doesn't matter what it rolled. Did it miss? I don't think it missed. Boom. It actually succeeded. Then we go here. This is actually maxed out. Then we go here. That's not craftable because it's unique. Boom. Boom. Done. Next. Boom. Done. Next. Boom. Boom. Just, just craft them up. Done. Next. Boom. Boom. Increase physical damage. Fire damage, I think. It should say what it got, by the way. It's not fun not knowing what happens. I just am pressing buttons right now. And crit damage and whatnot. And now I'm, I'm a god. Now, now the DPS of the weapon should have been, yeah, 207 and 105 approximate DPS. So you just craft everything, man. You get so much money here. I think the game definitely uh, is awesome. The replayability seems to be through the roof. I really enjoy the content you're getting. Also, I'm just playing with this defensive play idea. You can definitely go into Blade Mash and play a completely different build if you invest into this one or if you invest into this one or if you invest into the grip of a scallion. Your offhand is empty. Gain the effects of your mainhand weapon twice.
right? At level 10, this is at 100% effectiveness, so you literally just get the weapon stat twice. How insane is that as an idea in itself? Or you can go warrior and go more into smacks and big slams. We'll hit supply stack and debuff to enemies that reduce their resistances, you know, or whirlwind. A completely different build with whirlwind attacks. So a lot of replayability. And then you also got three classes. So it's not, not only one class with an insane skill tree. These skill trees exist three times. And then there is also a bunch of skill trees here. The game is infinitely replayable. replayable. Here we go. Heroes, for example. Um, Adventurer, Beastmaster, and Arcanist. Can I... Can I just... No, I, I can't really change a class, it seems. Yeah, but let's return. Quests. What? This is a thing? 1% XP gain, 1 skill point, 2 XP gain, 2 skill points. This is a thing, there are quests, I didn't even know. Guide? Okay, forget the guide. Uh, wow, 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 I didn't even know that is a thing. Uh, I'm a bit sad that you cannot change heroes, though. So, what happens if I go title screen? I really hope I'm not gonna lose everything. Imagine that I'm gonna scream. Uh, hopefully the game just... Now load character. Ah, there are all my characters here. These were my quick runs I did with the Beastmaster, for example, if I load this. Uh, no, not, not the Beastmaster. Eh, whatever, we're gonna skip the tutorial anyway. So, uh, watch out. Yeah, whatever. Let's go skip tutorial. Boom, he's gone. He died. Real quick, showcasing here the last characters. And then, uh, I guess, we're gonna close the video. So, real quick, real quick. Just for anybody that wants to know. Blah, 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 blah. Skills. Blah, 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 blah. Boom, look at this. Completely different skills. Different passive. You always have a chance to tame an M-Monster. And then you get a more swipes and Wild Heart and Minion. Just completely different skills altogether. Hunting, Spear, Honing, Spear and whatnot. Shuriken Toss. Completely... This uh, has the same uh, similar animation, but it's not the same skill. Avatars, Avatar of the Night, which summons bats. Or Avatar of the Hunt, which summons uh, wolves. So, 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 so many different things here. How awesome is that? And you can have three different heroes with three different runs. And then let's also go through the mage here just for the lulz. I mean, just so that they showcase here the skills. Fireball mastery and just a bunch of fireball rated things. The passive is that the arcanist use mana to fill her abilities. Mana regenerate over time based on how much mana you have. And then you got meteor that does a bunch of damage. And then you got rune master which increases your mana point gain. And then you have things like uh, this thing which says uh, unlock the skill rune blast, launch an orb consuming all of your mana, which then combos with this thing, no, with this thing, no, with uh, this thing, which says, um, a runic blade deals more damage based on the mana, the last ability used, plus this thing, which says runic blade deals more damage based on missing mana, so you have this thing is consuming all your mana, plus you do more damage based on how much mana you consumed and how much mana you're missing, and there is a completely different build with mana related things going on, and there is also skill effect duration with elemental attacks, and water attunement, and I don't know what, and fire attunement, and just a bunch of attunement and affinities, and who knows what. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw, if you want to see more, as I said, drop a like, based on how many we gather, we're gonna play this more or not, or with the views, I mean views is happening in itself, so you don't even need to do anything, if this takes off, I'm gonna play it regardless. Hope you guys enjoyed. As well, thanks for watching and see you guys around.